back to the channel, guys. Today we're actually gonna be very oh, busy. We're doing a lot of things actually today. Gino, say hello. Oh, we? We look at Tara, say hello. What's up, guys? So today, yeah, I'm black. This is Daniel. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, guys, for today, we're gonna be doing a lot of things on Gino's car. Um, the update video is coming though. Please stay tuned for that. For today, we are going to switch out what? The radiator and the door handle because you know, on Mark 1's bro, it always gets the because it's tricky sometimes to, with the door handles. So, we're gonna be switching out those today, the radiator and the door handle, as you guys seen in the, in the cinematic before this. So, stay along for the ride. So for the radiator, Gino bought this brand, Plexus. Um, we're not familiar with the brand, or at least I am not. If you guys are, please let me know. He also bought three bottles of this antifreeze and coolant. So this is, a, this is gonna be lekker, because we, we were running on water now. We were running on water before this, so this is gonna be lekker. Brand new radiator, as you guys can see, again with the boxing all this. This should be a direct fit, mostly with minor modification. And so, more on the radiator, we're just trying to disassemble this part. As you guys know, this is this cover in front of here. It requires a 10 bolt here, Moss. And also has to undo here. What is this? Uh, a screw. The Phillips screw. The Phillips screws on this one. And the 10 bolt on this. So we're trying to get that sorted out right now and can then get this fan assembly off so that we can act in the hoses and all those things attached to it so we can pull it off. It's gonna be lekker. As always guys on this channel, you know, number one rule. Number one rule, take out the battery. Take Which is always forgotten. It's always forgotten my bro, but, uh, but anyways, number one rule for the channel. Um, and Daniel is going to be switching out the door handles now. Yes, yes. Yeah, you're gonna be switching out those. Um, tell me, you guys should please just comment if you want to see more detailed videos on things like this. Like if you want to know more specifics about this scooter. It's gonna be lekker and I'll catch you guys with an update real soon. Okay guys, just an update on what we've done so far. We got the, the radiator shroud out, where is it? It's here. Yeah. We got that out and we also got this front thing out. We just took the... Huh? Okay, so we just took that out as well. We're taking the hoses out right now. Just even well, just draining it's... the system. Ah, Gino. Hmm? Hey guys, just look at this man. Just look at this. This is not lekker. On any end, this is not lekker. <laughs> yeah. So here you see there's the brand new one. Here's the old one. I don't think there's necessarily a change in in what's the word in like in, in size. It kinda is it looks a lot bigger on camera than what it looks in life. Kind of is a slight difference, but you know what, ne? It's all about the new things. Look, this thing is even so old, Kona. You broke one of the nipples off here, one of the ends. And just came off clean, and this thing has even been corroding. So, yeah, I mean, it's a good thing we changed to the brand new radiator. So, we're just gonna swap everything and put it back, and it will give you guys an update. Guys, um, just an update on the door handle. We ran into quite of an issue of the handles itself. It looks like the person that supplied us the handles gave us the wrong handle. So we were looking for a handle for obviously the left front, but he gave us one for the right rear, which is that door on that side. So we, uh, so there's a lot of things because how we noticed this was that the mechanism is, is supposed to push down the in the mechanism inside of here. I don't know if you guys can see that. But there's a mechanism inside of here. Mark one owners know what I'm talking about. So it's supposed to push down there and it doesn't. So we're probably gonna swap this out sometime.
Okay, Mara, anyway, guys, so we finally we finished up with the car just now. Um, we got the radiator in. It wasn't a complete straight fit, no. The top guard, let me show you. This top guard is it's not a direct fit for this bracket. So we had to modify this slightly. I don't know if you guys can hear me. But you, we had to modify it slightly to make it fit. But it still, it still looks OEM, it still looks good. So we had to do that. So if that's on the handle we didn't get in because they got we got the wrong handle so we have to go swap that out or we're gonna change that out so yeah um, it's been a successful time please like this video please go watch the previous videos leave a comment down when, what more do you want to see on this channel if you want if you guys want to see more detail uh, don't forget to smash the like button comment and share this to somebody leave the notification bell on for the new for the new video coming up soon and an update video on Chino's car will be coming soon just to give a rundown on everything so See you guys in the next one. Peace.